Yo, what is up guys, it's Fully Spaced here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this beehive. Now this beehive was actually one of my 10 minute build videos, and I recently just kind of created it again, and just added a few more touches to it, and uh, really just made it look a lot better. So I'll show you around quickly, um, as you can see it's quite simple on the outside, um, you've got these little ledges and things that have just overfilled with bushes, it's really up to you what you want to add. I just kind of kept uh, as much natural things as I could around it, just because obviously it's a beehive. And then on the inside we just have loads of flowers, uh, we've got scaffolding with these beehives on, and some bees in here, and a load of storage around the top here, which is also a really nice addition to it, as you can store all your like honeycomb things in here if you really want to. Um, and then on the outside here, uh, we've just got, you know, the simple natural stuff, nothing too fancy. So yeah, I'm going to teach you guys how to kind of build this, and you can create m multiple of them, and have multiple bee sanctuaries if you really want to. Um, just over here, I'll show you the layout before we start this build. As you can see now, we've got barrels placed down for everything here. So we're going to do, I'll start from the front. We've got a barrel here, then we've got two gap in between, then a barrel, then a space, then a barrel, two gap, and then barrel. Uh, on this side it goes barrel, then a five gap, and then a barrel, and then a five gap, and then a barrel. Then on the back here, it's just a barrel, three gap, barrel, three gap, barrel. So there you are, I'll just freeze it kind of here for you guys. If you need to, just pause it now, and then you can kind of count out the wall, and then how much is in between. And yeah, hopefully you guys will get this nice little uh, bee sanctuary and import it into your world, or I can inspire you. Anyway, let's jump into the video. So, now we can actually begin building, and what we're going to do is build up our build to four high. So we're going to place two logs and then a barrel on top, creating a four high frame. After the four high frame, what we're going to do is connect them up, just by placing some logs. Now that we've connected up, we can start on the roof. Now this is going to be a bit tricky, uh, I do get a bit confused on the roof sometimes. So from here, you want to place an upside down stair, with a stair that kind of twists off of it. You'll see in a second, and then from here, we're going to just place a normal upside down stair, and then a stair on top, and then an upside down stair. And then from here, we'll be using slabs. So one slab on top, then two slabs, then two slabs, and then two slabs to the middle again. Now we're going to repeat this on the other side, so what we're going to do, we're going to get ourselves an upside down stair, place it at an angle, then place an upside down stair next to that, then place a stair on top, then an upside down stair like so, then a stair, then an upside down stair, then a slab, then two slabs, then another two slabs, and that will connect to your roof, and you can connect it up with slabs for the meantime if you wish, however we will add trapdoors in there later on, um, so it's really up to you if you want to do it now or later. Then you just want to go along and fill in the rest of your roof with some normal stairs, put an upside down stair on that centre piece, and then put the upside down stair on the outside. Basically you're going to copy this on this back piece here, and you're going to put one in the centre later on as well. So it's really up to you if you want to watch the rest of this, or just skip through. As you can see here, I did say the roof is a bit complicated, I actually messed up by not placing the upside down stair there, and then the other stair as well, I just kind of went off the basic normal roof. As you can see, it always does get a bit confusing after a while, however, it just takes a little bit of a rework, and it was all sorted, nothing too problematic. Then we're going to do it from the centre point here that I was talking about as well. And your roof is done. Now from here we're just going to go around the side, place down some strip logs and then some stairs on top. We're using spruce stairs for this and uh, stripped, stripped spruce logs as well. Uh, and we're just going to go around and place them on each kind of frame. Then we're going to get planks and place them all the way around the build at the, only on the bottom layer. From here we're going to fill in with some glass panes. Pl 
There's a stair above the door. Then head to the roof and we're going to use glass blocks instead and we're just going to fill it across. Now you don't want it to match the same height as your roof, um, only on these two parts here and then you'll have a raised one there too. So you don't want it to go over the top, you kind of want it to stay under or stay level with your roof. And then we're just going to repeat this on the back side here as well. Then we're going to grab our glass panes and fill in this back piece here and we're filling the front as well. Now from here, what I was talking about earlier with the slabs, we're going to do that and fill in this top piece here. However, I'm going to use some stairs to cover up those barrels. Then from here you can add any details you want, so I'm going to go with two chains and two lanterns. Then on this top half here, I'm just going to add a bush with a fence post going down into it, and the same on this side. Then from this middle point here, I'm going to add a chain with a lantern, and then maybe two pots with saplings on the left and right hand side, just giving some natural look to the build. You can also raise the trapdoor if you want, and place something underneath with a chain for example like so but I'm just going to keep it at the same level and then we're going to go around to the back and repeat what we've done here obviously we can't have the sta two staircases because there isn't two frames at the back so we only got one here and you can go with some slabs there instead then just repeat the design so you're going to go with two leaves Fence, posts, chain, lantern, two pots, saplings, and then obviously you can add in your ch hanging chains with the lanterns on. Then you can go around the build and add in a few exterior options if you want to. You can add in these little tables and things around the edge. Um, these will just give you places to kind of store things or put things down or just make your build look a bit better than having it kind of very flat on that bottom bend. So it's up to you how you want to work with this. This step isn't essential, it's really up to you if you prefer the look of this uh, or you really want to just keep the planks there. You can just add stuff to the things on the outside as well, that's why they are there. Um, obviously you can add leaves, flowers and pots. If you want to, you can also add trapdoors under the roof there, just to give a nice little kind of dent or indent to it. I'm going to add the door in. And then from here, like I was saying, you can add stuff on top of these if you wish, like bushes. Just keeping it very natural um, and obviously keeping the wildlife kind of theme with some leaves. Obviously I'm using Gems Better Leaves resource pack, so my leaves are bushy, if you are wondering. I'm also using BSL shaders as well. Instead of adding leaves, you could add grass um, flower pots around if you want to. So you could add grass trapdoors and have some flowers inside those. Or you can have some composters and things as well. It's really up to you, but I'm just sticking with the leaves for this one. Now on the inside is a nice simple job. All we have to do is mess up the floor with some gravel, path, coarse dirt. Then add in some scaffolding with beehives on top and a bunch of flowers and you got a nice little kind of already start to your little beehive there.
Then add the scaffolding down and place your beehives on top. Add in the flowers. Then you can just bow mill it if you wish to cover it with some leaves, uh, not leaves, some grass even. As you can see here, you've got a nice looking indoor beehive area, looking very natural. Uh, if you want to, you can add trapdoors and barrels up around the top here and add some lanterns as well for some light. Um, these will also just give you a bit of storage as well, so you can store your honeycomb and things away up here if you wish. So the corners, we're just going to raise the trapdoor by one, but the rest we're going to keep down at this level. This is just so we can add lanterns in the corners and we can add barrels all the way on the top of these. And I have actually noticed I missed one barrel during this recording, so it's really up to you if you want to fix that. Then sneak place lanterns on the corners, only works on Java I believe, but yeah I have actually missed a barrel there in that top left corner. Um, I'm just going to remove that bit of grass and obviously we're done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all soon. Peace.